And his song about running from crime made him known. But teenage rapper TK will not be able to run from a now 55 year prison sentence. Delivered, in fact, by a jury earlier today in Fort Worth. Jason Allen was in the courtroom for the murder trial. He's joining us live right outside the Tim Curry Criminal Justice Center. Our top story at five. Jason. Doug, the jury deliberated for a little longer than three hours today here before deciding on that 55-year sentence. That song that raised the profile of Tamor Tay K. McIntyre in the end also likely played a role in that prison sentence. Tamor McIntyre ever so slightly rolled his head to the side as a judge announced his 55-year prison sentence for the murder of Ethan Walker. The decision came two years after Tay K. rapped in his song, The Race, that there was a case he couldn't beat. I think it was part of a career move that went wrong. The song was certified platinum for the 19-year-old, but prosecutors argued it was also an example of the teen's character. They urged the jury to consider it when deciding on a sentence for the 2016 home invasion and robbery where Walker was killed. And afterward, Walker's parents said every lyric had their son's blood on it. Every time we uh, look up, it seems like we're seeing news about the song seeing praise about the song, and seeing you literally dancing on Ethan's grave. But you've gotten enough attention. McIntyre's defense team, which helped him avoid a life sentence, argued that though the song was offensive, it was art. They were pushing for nothing longer than a 20-year deal other teens received in the case, but the jury saw it differently. You're still here. You're still here. My son is gone. He's a box of ashes sitting in my living room. He's gone. McIntyre will be eligible for parole, but he'll have to serve half of that sentence, 27 and a half years, before he gets that opportunity. We're live tonight in Fort Worth. Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. Jason. Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today, we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Let's go ahead and do a disclaimer for you niggas who may not know how the fuck we rock on this, on, on high rock. If you don't like motherfuckers getting off subject, going off in a whole other stratosphere and shit like that, go ahead and dip. Go ahead and ride. Cause this shit here, we gonna, this, we finna go all over the place with this shit. Uh, I was gonna put this shit on the Patreon, so on the, you know what I'm saying, uh, AO Nation get it, but this is something that I believe the world need to need to need to um need to understand because there's a lot of you little niggas out this bitch that right now you stacking you you uh, all that you cracking trades and all this other you know what I'm saying all this because you don't understand yet that the streets is dead and I'm, we gonna we gonna talk about a whole bunch of shit. Welcome back to the rap trap. And if you don't know how I'm dressed, because we went to court today. Lil Tay K just got 55. Welcome back to the rap trap. I'm A.O. Conseco, fearless leader, A.O. Nation, and the Men 2 movement. And this is in hindsight. Let me go and get my drink, man. We finna be here a while. If you ain't got no time, if you gotta go and get back to work, if you on break and shit like that, go ahead and turn the video off. We finna be here a little while. Let me go and give me a sip. Mm. Shout out to uh, TD uh, Hip Hop Media. Shout out to Conversation With Me Podcast. Uh, deal with the people that you want to wanna go to. Um, so they can give you the specifics and everything like that. I'm finna, I'm, I'm finna go straight off the motherfucking. We, we going straight speculation. All right. 
Tay K. Um, little dude, just like any other little dude, whatever like that. Um, no, no real guidance. You know, obviously with no guidance, but no real, um, no claim to fame. Uh, you don't play sports. Um, you're not academically shining. When and because we know that if you academically shine in school, and it, this is what everything has to do with, because it, it, to actually go on a robbery, um, and where somebody get killed, and then rap about it, you got to be a different type of motherfucker. That means that you you had your induction in the street. You are a child like everybody else, and we're gonna go through it his whole life right here. You didn't. As a as a motherfucker in school, as a kid in school, um, obviously we're children, so we don't see that far in the future. Um, we think about the here and now, right now. You know what I'm saying? What, what's gonna get the girls right now? What's gonna get me popular right now? Um, so we go to Jordans, haircuts, whatever's in style. I want I want to be that. You know, you, you hear this shit by be unique and don't be a follower. You say that as a parent um, to your child. But that shit don't go no further than the front door. As soon as the child goes out the door, all that don't be a follower shit, man, I'm trying to get the shoes that everybody got, man. You motherfucker laughing at me. I want the hell cut that everybody else got. You motherfucker laughing at me. So, if you're not shining in sports, and I, I said academia because you would think that, you know, if you are a nerd, you can just be in that right there. But that's not going to get you popular. As a nerd in, in these small grades, you know, up to high school, that's not going to, you know, make anybody just, oh, my God, you know, make the girls be like, ah, you know, no, you got to be a football player or you got to be a bad boy. Football player or a bad boy. And a lot of times the bad boy will shine over the football player or basketball or the athlete because of the fact that up to a certain age, if you are a athlete in high school, then you win because you finna have guaranteed money or that's what everybody think. But in these small grades, um, you know, athletes, shit out of that's all good, whatever, but I want attention all day long as an athlete. I only get attention when it's game night. But as a bad boy, I'm, uh, smoking in the bathroom, lighting firecrackers in a home ec class, coming to class late, skipping school, smelling like weed and cigarettes and all that shit like that. Oh, he's a bad boy. He just sleep. He gets gets suspended. I don't give a fuck. Fighting with teachers and shit like that. Everybody got their phone out recording, and that's what you want to be. You want to be. The motherfucker that gets the attention all day long because you're a child and you coming from a household where you can manipulate this motherfucker that you're in the house with to get that attention. And this goes into what I tell y'all about people like Magic Johnson's son where the mother was mad at Magic Johnson, so she turned his son gay. It's not hard to do. I've explained this many fucking times. As a child, all you want is the attention, the affection, and the love of your God. And your God is whoever that is that's with you all the time. So most time it's going to be the mother. Even if the father is fucking present, if you have a functional family or a traditional family, white uh, house picket fence and, and you know the dog and shit like that, the mother is gonna be at home. She's gonna be the nurturer, take care of the cleaning, cooking, all that shit like that. And the father's gonna go out there and work. Um, police officer, you can take any fucking career you want. A police officer, um, a, a good detective. You know what I'm saying? Like he. Uh, in order to be a good cop, in order to be a good anything, you have to take your work 
home with you. You're not gonna be good at it if you, after eight hours, fuck this shit. Fuck that goddamn shit, nigga. Where the goddamn bills at? No. You gotta take your, as an architect, as a firefighter, police officer, you, you still thinking about this case. So we don't have the fingerprints. Why would he close the door behind him? So, that, I mean, this is why um, if you're a, a, a good or a great anything, usually you're alone, divorced, many wives. Because what's most important to you, obviously, is your career. Not your family, not your religion, is your career. We never hear about Albert Einstein's or any of the great men's you know, there are significant others. So with that, Magic Johnson is off playing, being a great whoever, great basketball player and shit like that, whilst fucking off. And, and you know, like I said, we talked about this last night. Um, Sometimes, like, you know, Tit for tat, we can do tit for tat when there's not a child involved. This how we can rock. This how we can rock right here. If I cheated on you, then cheat on me. But don't get back at me by turning my son into something that you know I can't love. The Wayne Wade wife. I'm going to embarrass you the same way you embarrass me. You embarrass me in front of the world and, and now you, I got to sit up here in this motherfucking seat next to you while you tell the world that you was not only unfaithful, but you was fucking these hoes raw? And I got to sit here and act like it's all love? You better fucking believe. I'm going to make you hurt. Ten times more than I'm hurting right now. And that's why this shit is so motherfucking dangerous. Now you got to come out to the public again and say, I love my son. I'll accept him any way he is. And a lot of folks are looking at that like, well, you're the one who brought the devil into the house. You know what I'm saying? You're the one who brought the devil in here. So now he just causing havoc. But that's, I, I say that to say the child just wants attention. The top, it's just, I'll do whatever it takes to, to get your attention. And the way you turn the child gay is very easy. Hey, yo, what it do, man? It's your man, Ayo Conseco. I'm tuning in with the Big Face Podcast. One. I can't do it. I can't do it. That just ain't my style, dog. I just, I just gotta keep it real. Look, dog. Let me holler at y'all. Look, I don't put that Patreon, them numbers for the Patreon. That's for AO Nation. If you're in AO Nation, you need to be a Patreon. I don't put all the videos. They won't be listed on YouTube. So if you want all the videos and shit like that, you need to be a Patreon. If you want to contribute to the conversation that we have every Monday night, we go live on the Big Bass Podcast YouTube channel at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want to contribute to that conversation, have the call in number to where you can call in at any fucking time during those lives, you need to be a Patreon. I don't put those Patreon numbers in the men two numbers at the beginning of the show just so you can hear Winning Streak. As a matter of fact, if you want the whole Winning Streak single, all you have to do is send $2 to the Cash App or the PayPal, um, and I'll send the song to whatever email is attached to your PayPal or Cash App. It's not that fucking hard. Um, but the Patreon is for AO Nation. I expect for y'all to fuck with that. Um, and before y'all start asking, this hat is not for sale. Um, the markup on it is too high. I was just trying to see what that shit looked like for real. The markup is too high right now, so I have to sell that shit for like $30, and I'm not prepared to say that to y'all. Um, so right now we just have the Men 2 t-shirt for 20 uh, Big Face Podcast. We have the new Navy Blue Big Face Podcast uh, t-shirt 
uh, 15. Everything is 15 with the Me Too t-shirt. Then you got the Big Face Podcast Scully for uh, $10 deal. Go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10 and put all your information in that motherfucker. Um, I salute everybody, all of my niggas, all of the Me and Two, Me and Two, Me and Two members, AO Nation members that have been donating to the show. As you know, I'm a nigga on YouTube, so it is what it is. So when you contribute, it's a big deal to me. Um, but don't go crazy. Uh, but every uh, third Sunday, we do the AO Nation donation conversation where I shout out everybody who showed love. Uh, within that period and shit like that. If you don't want to be mentioned during that show, all you have to do is put no mention and you won't be mentioned. Um, but I really do appreciate everybody who shows love every third Sunday. It seemed like my message has went out there to where people know if you're a small business, you gotta have at least $100 for promotion. Uh, if you're an artist, you need to have at least $200 for promotion. Other than that, just leave me alone. I do this shit by myself, but I salute everybody for really giving me my time, giving my space to do what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. So I salute you. You want to go to work? Let's go to work. If IG sponsorship shit is not doing shit for you, and you know that. So handle your fucking business. Holler at me. Let's get some shit done. I see y'all in a minute. Get the shit together, be home. As a mother, uh, go go try them shoes on. And the mother, she smiles. Oh, look at them shoes, them high heels. Oh. Then when you wear your regular shoes, oh, okay. Go put that makeup on. Oh, look at that makeup. He got on. When he don't got the makeup on. Oh, okay. Go put that wig on. Oh, look at that wig. He got on. When he don't got the wig on. Twist. Dance like them girls on TV. Learn a, learn a fucking a dance routine. And then she'll say, he was just being him. A child is a blank slate. A child is a blank slate. I'm not going to go into how retarded this whole transgender, I was, uh, this gender fucking crisis going on. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's, but it's very simple to confuse a child. The child only knows what the parents teach them. Child don't know no fucking racism. A child. The child don't even know what fucking race he is. The child doesn't know what gender they are, let alone what race they are. You have to teach race. You have to teach a child everything. You have to teach them, teach them. And children, they're just sponges, and they learn at such an immense rate. That you can tell. what type of girl you're dealing with by how the child acts. If a child will come into your house and just start jumping on shit, just jumping on the couch, just and, and they, this is their first time to your house. Just three years old, just jumping on your shit. Five years old, jumping on your shit, but can't talk. I don't give a fuck how Good, this stupid motherfucker uh, come dressed to church. She can be dressed as conservative as she want to. That's a nothing ass bitch you got right there. Last night um, on the live on the Big Face podcast, um, I think Jr. asked, "How do you identify a nothing ass bitch?" Which is a video we're gonna have on the Patreon. Uh, I'm gonna do the five. Foolproof uh, signs of a nothing ass bitch, but that is a sign. How the the children's behavior is a fucking. There's no like. If that child has no fucking discipline, you're dealing with a nothing ass bitch. Because what that shows is while they're at the house. She's not minding that child. She's not raising that child. She's not teaching that child a motherfucking thing. Now, whether she's on the phone doing this shit, or on the phone doing this shit, or bringing different niggas in her house, 
who gives a fuck? That child is not being taken care of. And when you had that child, you made a promise to not only that child, but the whole world that you were ready to be a parent. You can play that, I didn't know what I was getting myself into, all that bullshit right there. But that child is still there. And whether your child ends up a having his his or her master degree and being successful in the world or being a take a is all on you. It's all on you. Because once that father, now we get a take a once that father or the sperm donor, once he dipped, even before he dipped, even before he dipped, the choice is all you. A nigga can slap you, and your, the response is on you. A nigga can kiss you, the response is on you. You can get in a car accident, your response, as long as you're alive, is on you. A nigga nuts in you, the response is on you. Because we've already acknowledged that all black men are deadbeats. That's common knowledge. As soon as you get pregnant, the black man is going to run. So I don't give a fuck if a nigga did tell you he gonna be there and all that shit like this. At the end of the day, it's on you. I said this shit last. I said this shit on my Instagram last night. If I'm going to a business meeting, I'm taking two women with me because women are extremely intuitive. They live through at how in their remarks and in responses. Meaning, um, when they mad, they might just roll their eyes if they don't like somebody or. Uh, hmm. You know what I'm saying? They want you to, to ask them. They want they they're like a riddle. They want you to figure out what's wrong with them. Nine times out of ten, it's because they want to fuck. But they want you to find out what it is with them. So if I'm going to a business meeting where these people are supposed to be having my best interests at heart, I'm gonna take two women with me so that they can watch everybody in the room and see all their little their little um uh, um, so, um, unconscious movements and shit like that. The shit that the eye may not or you may not hear, you know, the attitude in someone's voice, but she will. So you are very intuitive. You can tell he doesn't, he's never, um, um, he's always late. Um, he's going job to job. I can't get him on the phone when I call. Uh, he's not a uh, he's not good with money. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't he's not healthy. He doesn't try to teach me anything. Only thing he does is fucks pretty well. A lot of you take a mama. Y'all are having children simply because you selfish motherfucker. I didn't want I want this dick forever. It's not about I want a family. I want to be whole. I said I, I, I I'm gonna put this video out on my Instagram. But I did a video. Y'all to see it on my Instagram. Mo Vicky is saying uh, I'm ready to have a child. Uh, here's the requirements for my baby daddy. He had to be black. Got to be ready to kill somebody for me. I ain't gotta, and then you know a whole bunch of this, you know, hood nigga shit. She just trying to make sure that the nigga that she has a child with is not gonna be around, cause she named all the shit, the requirements for a nigga not to be around very long. Scammer, dope, all the, not good head on the shoulder, none of that shit. Just yeah, the money and then the rapper. That fucking makeup on, man. It's fucking. But the reason why she wants him. The only thing that mattered was he got to be black. Man, this motherfucker have cancer, terminal illness. She, she just want that nut 
because that child is going to validate her, solidify her in the place that she wants to be solidified. She's tired of motherfuckers saying, you, you, you just want to be black. You just want, you, you, all that pose and shit, it goes out the window because now my child is black. So I can be at this black party. I can be over here because I just want my son or my little girl to learn her culture. Many times, children are brought into this world as nothing more than a move on the mother's chessboard, getting them one step closer to their ultimate goal. And who suffers? The child and the father. Who doesn't suffer? The mother. Because, and then you may suffer later on, like, oh, I fucked up. But how old do you have to be to realize this selfish act? Like, how? You know that you don't want to clean diapers. You know that you, you're not, you don't have the money to take care of a child. Isn't the whole point of having a child I want this child to have better than I had so shouldn't you wait until you have better than your parents had we go we doing worse our parents had houses we barely getting a, getting a, a proof for the damn a section 8 apartment which is another reason a motherfucker have multiple children because the more children you have the higher up on the, the, the section 8 list you go This ain't no motherfucking rocket science. So it's the same thing. And for a simple nothing ass bitch, that move on your chest board will be, I want this deep fella. Only to find out, only to find out that there's better dick out there. So now you just got this dick, baby. You didn't find some new dick you like, and now it's like, I want this dick fellow. Now you got two dick babies. I want this dick fellow. Three dick babies. Shit, I can got. And it's like <laughs> the dick that you wanna that you want to get some other time, you don't put that dick on child support. Alright, so the reason why I'm, I'm I'm talking about this so much is this little boy cried when he went in the interrogation room. He cried like a motherfucker. Um, and and, and, and that, at that time, I realized that he was a fucking child. A lot of times, especially in this rap trap era that we're in, we see these teenagers as grown men because of their stature, status, in society and because of the money we believe that they have a lot of times we equate being grown with being financially stable so we see these artists and immediately when we see an artist with a million views or signed a deal or a rap career, we believe they have money, even though we, we got plenty of motherfucking information out there to let us know otherwise. But just, he got that money. We know that they wear fake jewelry. We know that they get bullshit advances. We know they're on 360 deals. We know that this whole game is intertwined to where if you're on this label, you're guaranteed a interview at Hot 97, The Breakfast Club, and any other small uh, uh, radio station in between. But most we think when we see a motherfucker on The Breakfast Club, oh, this motherfucker famous. Because he might rent a chain, rent a car for that day, rent a fucking outfit for that damn day. But oh, she didn't think, oh, he gone. You can buy your views. You can buy comments, buy likes. This whole thing can be manipulated. Yet and still, we'll look at Blueface, we'll look at Kodak Black, NBA Youngboy, Quando Rondo. 
kids who we can, we're pretty sure, whoa, Vicky, children that we're pretty sure have some type of mental illness, look at them like, oh, that's a leader right there. And it's like, what? And they'll want to be looked at as leaders, as alpha males, until they get in Tay K's position. Now it's like, oh, oh, I'm just. And see, this is where the whole thing come around because everything I've talked about tonight is shit that we know already. Know that black men are dead. Know that um, the mother is the, the first one to see the child. We know that uh, the children are, are chess pieces. We know that rappers are broke. We know all these things. And we also know that this motherfucking judicial system don't have nothing for us but time. This judicial system is made, was made, to detain, contain, and destroy a nigga. The only place for a black man is working for a white man. The only place for a black man is underneath the thumb of a white man. Black men do so much better when they're controlled, dominated, and domineered by a white man. You put a black man and leave him to his own devices and he's sure to kill himself. The only safe place for a black man is under the thumb of the white man. That is where the golf course theory comes into play. Because I've, I've told y'all about the golf course theory where um, the record labels go to the golf course, uh, Atlantic, Def Jam, Universal, RCA, Priority, whatever the fuck, all of them, go out there, motherfucker, all the heads, which are CIA agents, they go out there, and then the judges, the prosecutors, the DAs, the CEOs from Big Tobacco, uh, alcohol, liquor companies, um, Gucci, Michael Jordan's people, you know, the, the, you know, the motherfuckers who control him, big pharmaceutical companies, everyone Everyone who profits from the destruction of the black man, or the, I say destruction, they say the incarceration, or death, or weakening of the black man, will be on that golf course, and they will put money in a record label's hand to continue to spend Suki Hana, NBA Youngboy, Quando Rondo, Megan Thee Stallion, City Girls, and every other motherfucker who says what they want to say. The record label, this is the whole theory. The record label exec, CIA agent, says, I hate niggers. Into the back. So it's like, CIA agent, the, the uh, Atlantic C CEO, whatever, says, I hate black people. And to the back, Kodak Black is merely a puppy. And to the back of Kodak Black, and Kodak Black say, fuck a nigga, man, I hate a nigga, I kill. Def Jam, record exec says, kill all black people. NBA Youngboy then says, I wish a nigga would look at me wrong, I kill him with the thing. You know what I'm saying? They're just, they're gonna get people who say what they think. Of course a white man couldn't say this shit. But when you get Kodak Black to say it, not only is it received, but people will actually act on those words. 
then we go into frequencies you know was it four three two frequency to where like it's gonna make you move and this is why I tell y'all the rap trap is it's extremely real um, you think that Kodak Black is talented or NBA Youngboy is talented, Quando Rondo is talented. If that was the case, you wouldn't be able to pick out, after they come out, a million other motherfuckers that sound just like them. Let me, let me, I, I, I'm, I'm, because to me, because to me, talent is something that a person it's not easy to mimic. Well, I, the, the ratio of which is 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 um, it's um, duplicated. It's not a lot of people that can duplicate Kendrick Lamar, and, or if you say the people who duplicate Kendrick Lamar versus the people who duplicate Kodak Black and NBA YoungBoy. Come on, my nigga, you can accidentally go to Crank Lucas page. It's easy as fuck to rap like fucking. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying that to say, this is how you fucking know. It's not because you're talented. They're picking at will. They're picking at will. Only though, the people who meet the requirements. This is the rap trap. What we just saw with Tay K is exactly how it's supposed to go. Quiet! Who the fuck is that? Uh-uh! 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 Be quiet! The requirement. You come into the office and you're exactly what you sound like. There's no hidden intelligence. You will sign a contract without reading it. And just sit there. And take whatever they give you. Not ask questions. And I really believe that that's how they decide who gets what deal. I believe that all paperwork is interchangeable. Um, you wouldn't know whether or not you signed this certain contract. All you did is sign the last page. They can be then flip flop the top 50 pages. You decide to Atlanta now, you happy. But the point of it is, as long as you don't mind perpetuating or sacrificing the majority for your family. So let's say we do give you an advance that works. As long as you're willing to sacrifice Everybody who follows you, what is it? Uh, the masses that had eighty-five percent of the people that listen to your music will really believe that you really that and really go out and. and but see, I don't want to. I don't really want to put it that deep on it because what about movies and shit like that? You know what I'm saying? So. But it's just, it's different as an artist. It's different. We don't have to believe that Leonardo DiCaprio was actually an insane person or a detective in order for him to play that role. But in order for you to do this music, you have to have some sort of authenticity. This is why some artists work and some artists don't. This is why a, a white rapper would have a way harder time than a nigga with tattoos on his face and dreads and shit. This is why image is so important because we have to believe that you're that. In order for Denzel Washington to, to play Frank Lucas, ain't no got to say it though. But we have to believe that Dolph and Gotti actually did that shit in order to ride with him. So, it's different. It is different. So what they're doing is they want to take what you are, who you are, magnified. And exploited. 
they want to push your brand whilst the whole time it's the same thing that, that Puma and everybody around Nipsey Hussle did. We want to take what you are, push it to the people as we see it, as we interpret it. Yes, Nipsey is an innovator, he's a, a trailblazer, he's a leader for the people, but these Pumas are going to be Crip Blue, though. That's what we see. See, you got to pay attention to the first, how they label you, what's your title. You can be all of those great things, but Crip Gang member, Nipsey Hussle, uh, foundational, all that other good shit comes after Crip Gang Leader. So, they want to exploit who you are, what you are. So, it works for them, for Lil Tay K to be throwing up all these different gang signs, even the, even the video to race. Them motherfuckers uh, that were behind him knew what the fuck that was. They knew the fuck, like, this nigga's talking about a fucking real murder that happened, a real robbery that happened. But that's what the fuck we love. That's what we love. Nigga, talk about it after it happened. Oh, man, that nigga gave to the motherfucker. When Gucci got on that track to my, um, the truth, when he talked about Jesus and shit like that, dig your homeboy up. I bet he can't say shit. Well, that shit, it was gangsta as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So niggas want to be like that. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, I, I, nigga, beat a nigga ass and rap about it, nigga. Kill a nigga ass and rap about it, nigga. And then we'll make these, you know, skits and Instagram videos making fun of this shit, but this is real fucking life. It's real life. But, see, the rap trap is a symptom of the system that we're under. See, on the first Take Care video I did, I spoke about this, and and I hate that shit got deleted, but let me let me break down what happened with Take Care because y'all y'all see that we're going like we have to we got to talk about. What made Tay K? What was Tay K a product of? Is Tay K the last of his kind? Is it is, is, is this the end? Will no other rappers walking after they commit a crime make a song about it that's gonna be played in court? Will he be the last one that do that? No. No. He's merely a product of the assembly line that is this system. But, just like the devil, you gotta have a choice. You gotta have a fucking choice. So I believe this shit has been in the works for a long fucking time. Like I told you, they, them, they will make a hundred year plan a hundred years. So they're planning on their death. They have accepted that they will not live forever. I'm going to die one day. But this business, this thing that I've built for my family, for my generation to come, it will stand. It will stand the test of time. The World Trade Center was built to last. This is why I implore you to do your homework on 9-11. But we, we have an issue with, with death. We, we don't, we don't want to make um, plans for death. We don't, nigga, it's just me. Nigga, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the whole thing. I'm, it's all, no. No, no, no. And this is why we continue to fail. Because with, they're making 100 and 200 year plans how in the fuck can we defeat that? By the time the next generation comes, they already have a a, a, a 80 year head start. And, and, the, and the children have no idea what the fuck is going on. They have no idea what the fuck is happening. A hundred years, they've been planning. All right, so we're going to, first thing we got to do is, we got to get this daddy, I can get in the room. Because you distracting me, you moving too damn much. Get in the room, Mikey. 
Get in the room before I bust your ass now. Get in there. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get in the room. All that damn moving around. Come up my damn eyesight. I'm trying to focus, nigga. But the first thing we gotta do is get this damn father out of this house. We gotta get this damn man out this fucking house. And so now we go back to, we're going to make the cure and then oh, we, we make the disease, then we make the cure, then we release the disease and sell the cure. So let's put some poverty down. Let's put some dope down. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. So put, we'll put some dope down. Just drop that shit over there. It's all good. We'll kill two birds and one stone. We got this goddamn Contra war going on. Man, put that dope over there in the goddamn hood, man. That damn dope over there. We need them niggas out the house anyway. Then we're going to go on TV and, 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 and let's point at the fucking sickness that we put over there. Let's point at that sickness. Women, aren't you tired of these black men that are on the down low? Black men that don't do for their family? Black men running out on their household? Hold the fuck up. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. But see, that's why everything is about timing. They couldn't declassify that they put the dope in California then. They don't declassify that until a whole nother generation. If they would have put it out then, it's like, hold on, y'all did that? This is why they'll open up books about Kennedy now. And then they'll open up books about Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, but they'll, they'll do that in... in, in in the other way. So when people start getting on that strong Martin Luther King, Malcolm X shit, hold on, you ain't know this right here. Yeah, Malcolm X, yeah, he uh he was uh he was homosexual and uh so was Martin Luther King. He wrote the papers right here, can't you see? It's it's, it's signed and sealed by the American government. That's how you know it's real. But oh uh, okay, I guess so. And we'll just go with it and go with it. And that's, this, and this is the whole other reason why I, I talked to y'all about the conspiracy theory. I feel where, listen to me, there's a test in school. There's a test. A male and female of each race, let's say it's, this is probably happening in high school and all through the educational system. I believe that our women were graded on a scale. There's a test, 10 questions on the test. Everybody in the room. So you got uh, a male and female, Indian, Chinese, white, black, so on and so forth, from every race. Everybody in the room on this 10 question test miss five questions. So everybody gets a 50, but our women, our women get a 70. Same test, 10 questions, everybody misses one question. Everybody gets a 90. But our women, our women get 105. Our women go to their house, put the test on the refrigerator, the whole family come look at it, see that she missed one question, but she still got 105. But nobody questioned it because, oh man, it's all good. I believe that they turned our women, of course, nothing is absolute, so of course some of them beat it and shit like that, but I believe they purposely were trying to make our women less intelligent so that they would have a sleeper cell inside of our home. So even before we walk outside and another nigga try to kill us, a police officer try to kill us, uh, we get arrested for no reason. They throwing dope on us. Uh, fucking um, uh, iron poisoning and everything else that can kill you. Car accident. All this shit that can kill you outside the house. Inside the house, you don't even have peace. 
Because as I'm speaking logically, as I'm speaking logically to my woman, I'm not getting through for some reason. And then what you'll notice is they won't have an issue going to get a job. She won't have an issue going to get a job. But it's like, hold on, man, hold on. I love her. This 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 my it's my woman, but I don't know how in the fuck she landed that fucking job. I have two fucking degrees. And I put in for that same fucking job and I couldn't get in there. How the fuck did she get that job? You'll ask yourself these questions, but as you're trying to find you a job, now the 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 you're supposed to be the fucking leader of the household. As you're trying to speak to her, hey, I don't think you should do that like that. I don't know who the hell you think you're talking to. You ain't even got you a goddamn job. I'm the one that's holding this family down. I understand that and I love you, but I'm saying I don't think you should put those scissors into that fucking socket. It's, it's gonna, that's gonna, I don't, it's, if, if you knew all that, you would have you a job by now. Well, it's, it's kind of hard out here. But I don't want to hear that it's hard for a black man shit. What do you do? You know what I'm saying? And then you have the dope shit on top of you. Um, and I can't make excuses for black men. And if you want to take it like that, then take it like that. But I'm speaking to you at this point. So now, this is even more incentive for the black man to flee. To flee. They're not going to think, the majority aren't, I'm going to think the way I think and say, fuck this shit, I'm three S's, man. I'm doing this shit my damn self. Fuck this goddamn shit. When I find it, I find it. It's all good. No. Motherfuckers are still going to be out this motherfucker doing what humans were put here to do, which is fornicate or reproduce. But you're supposed to have a family structure. And if we don't understand this, then we won't understand Tay K. Tay K had no choice in this matter. Tay K never had a fucking chance. TK just got 55 years for a botched robbery. He was 16 years old. When he got in the jail, they had a fucking phone in there. He's up there bitch still throwing up gang signs. And the word gets out to all the media fucking blogs that he started a game called Rugrats. How the fuck did that get out? And then how the fuck do we think that that shit wasn't going to get to the court system? It's all over the world now. Tay K indicted his motherfucking self by a fucking song where he spoke about the crime. A functional mind does not do that. That doesn't happen in a functional brain. But we are so attention starved that will play right into the same fucking hand that put us in the motherfucking project. What I spoke about, God, excuse me, I got this hot ass fucking uh, flannel on, trying to get ready for court and shit like that, trying to make a good show for y'all, and I'm sweating in this motherfucker. But listen, The destruction of Tay K will not be the last. Tay K is not a person. He is a mindset. 6 9 should not be looked at as a person, but a mindset. Because when we look at them as individuals, we believe, oh, that, that's just him. No, 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 no. There's someone in your neighborhood right now that is so thirsty for attention and so thirsty for fame that they'll do the same fucking thing. The motherfucker, and how much do you think they got from that bullshit ass robbery? Your little cousin, your little nephew right now is riding around trying to hit a lick because they, some nothing ass bitch and told, they got plenty of pounds up in there. 
because they went up in that bitch and everybody, it was five blunts going around them. This bitch that went and told them they got plenty of pounds in that bitch because because uh they 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 reaching out they smoking out an ounce because they ain't have Reggie smoking. And your retarded ass little cousin, your dumb ass little nephew is finna run up in that motherfucking house. And one of these little retarded motherfuckers, four niggas gonna go up in the house to rob some niggas for two ounces of loud. Nigga gonna get in the fight afterwards about who gonna, nigga, that, that's my fucking ounce. How the fuck you, how, you gonna split up goddamn uh, two ounces four ways? Y'all niggas gonna be able to smoke that shit for y'all get back to the house. But this is what's going on. And it's, it wasn't nothing but two ounces. But I'd be goddamn if y'all, every one of you niggas ain't facing 25 years if you did not hit the niggas. If you didn't hit the niggas, now you got a whole nother charge on top of you. And they're going to compound them motherfuckers because that's, that's how it's supposed to happen. So here we go. The way this whole thing takes place is... They tell, they tell our women, they tell our women, here you go. Man, what the fuck is that burn? Oh, shit. Yeah, what the fuck is that shit? Y'all don't know, but Ripper City ain't here right now. But y'all can't hear him. All right, so what happens is they they tell the women, they tell our women, this this is the deal with the devil I was talking about. They tell our women, we'll give you free housing. We'll give you free food. And we'll pay you. We'll give you a stipend at the end of every year. That'll be your income tax. All you have to do is come live in this place. Come live in this neighborhood. Come stay over here. And they're like, oh shit, well guy. And and this just like the devil do, the devil's always gonna come in, in your time of of curiosity, in your time of need, in a time where you, you don't know what to do, so you looking for answers. Oh, See you in a little bit of trouble. Don't worry about it. Hey, you can come live over here for free. And that nigga who left you, you can send him to jail. Yeah. Also, hey, I'll give you free food for the child. I'll give you some money at the end of every year. Just come over here and stay with me. Just come stay with me. Shit, sound good to me. What I gotta give you? Oh, don't worry about it. It's It'll be years before, it'll be decades before you have to pay me back. By then, you'll have your shit together. You won't even need me. I'm just here to help. Just come over here and get you get back on your feet. So where the fuck do you go? Over there to the motherfucking apartments. Over there to goddamn uh, 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 fucking uh, Ridge Crest. Born Homes. And for years, for years, for years, you don't got to do shit. You don't got to do shit. You just get shit. So you just free that shit, free bands. But what's happening is you're becoming dependent on this devil. This is when you get, like, if the food stamp come one day late, you'll have motherfucker down there the goddamn, uh, uh, resource office. What the fuck going on down this motherfucker? Hold on. Hold on. You didn't got so res you you you're depending on this motherfucker to feed your children. So what happens when they don't? You, you don't even have a job to nothing? Okay. Okay. Furthermore, take K. 
You came over here when your child was just one year old. And now we get to the point of it. Do you think that you're going to be raising your child? We can believe all we want in that and a rose came from the a rose rose from the concrete. We can believe in that all we want. But what about the rest of the motherfucking rose seeds that are buried beneath the gravel and fucking concrete that didn't come through the fucking concrete? Do you know how many fucking rose seeds were planted? And all you got is one rose that came through the concrete? So all of these children in the apartments, in the projects, you might have one that becomes successful, not from football or basketball. And even once they come up successful in the football or basketball, these motherfuckers catch a charge in the league. Motherfuckers get banned from the league for trying to sell dope. Motherfucker in their career and they broke in the motherfucker. Now they got a, uh, they didn't start a fucking, uh, a, a, a restaurant, goddammit. And that motherfucker barely running. Because they don't know how to manage money. They were never taught. All they were ever taught was, go there and park and play. You sold your goddamn son to that motherfucking college team, what you did. So, in... The rest of y'all who didn't get the opportunity to sell your son off, what you did was you the day that you took that free housing, that free food, and that free check at the end of every year, you sold your child to the fucking system. Because at that very point, you put all the odds against that child. Not to mention that he's a black male. On top of that, he come from the apartments. With everybody banging blood, everybody banging fucking uh, uh, BDK, GDK, a crip set, vice lord, nothing but gang bangers. All these niggas around this bitch with bandanas out their fucking pocket, coming through in any kind of fucking car you want to name, all the bad bitches looking at them and shit like that. You think your child is going to listen to you? Don't go out there and start fucking nothing the ball with that. You better not come in here. Nigga, once you get to prison, you going to realize the whole apartment is in this bitch. Y'all got a whole fucking car in the, in the fucking jail. Everybody from the apartment is over here. And not once do we think, man, how the fuck all of us getting here? All of us got our ass beat. Discipline was in the house. How all of us... We were raised in different houses. How the fuck we all end up here? All our mama told us not to go out there and smoke no dope. All our mama told us not to go out there and play with no guns. And we all in here? So that means that it was something outside of our parents that put us here. Our parents that put us here because you can't have no man in apartments. So what was that? What it was was that land was already paid for. That apartments is a fucking plantation. Every nigga on that motherfucking plantation is already bought. They were bought when she came over here. So that free housing, that free food, and that free check at the end of the year, they were paying you for your motherfucking child. No different than how they put them up. Got a good nigga here. We sell them for seventy-five dollars. Got a good nigga bitch here. We sell them for for uh, eighty-five dollars. She'll be a good mother. When they had them niggas in them chains up on the stage and shit like that, fresh off the boat, selling them motherfuckers. That's what you did. And when he told you, uh, it'd be it'd be decades before you have to pay me back. Ain't your son about 20 years old? Ain't he doing a fucking 15 year bid? Making motherfucking license plates? Happy to go outside and cut grass because he might be able to see a cigarette butt and take it back in that bitch and sell that bitch for a couple soups? You failed him. 
You sold him. We ain't got it yet. We haven't got it yet. It's not the household. It's what's outside the house. The environment. I'm a product of my environment. If there's dope, if I can walk outside and see crackheads nine times out of ten, when times get hard, I'm going to try. The fuck, man? It's not that fucking hard. Where do you have 13-year-old uh, kids smoking crack? Where do you have 16-year-old kids smoking crack? You can play with me. You can play with me and say, well, the white kids are over there. You can play. You can play. Play that game. And take your, I, if you want to play that game, take your child to the fucking park and raise them. Why won't you do that? Why won't you do that? Well, there's, there's, there's people in the penitentiary that, that, that came from good homes. All good. Take your child and raise them in a fucking trailer park. Raise them in a poverty-stricken area. Why you won't do it? So don't play that fucking game. Product of my environment. At least, at least can we give our children, especially our young men, a fighting chance. A fighting chance. The world is a very vicious place. Could we at least give our young black youth a chance? Why is it I know a bitch was raised in the apartments before I even asked her. How is it I can tell where a bitch is from just by the way she speaks? How is it I can tell when a nigga is acting like he's from the apartments and a nigga that's actually from there? This won't be the last of uh, rappers that convict themselves. It will be the day that we see the world as it is and not how we want to see it. Once this right here will stop. I implore all of you guys to uh, support the Men 2 campaign. Uh, on the change.org website and on the um, GoFundMe. I implore all of you to get on Patreon.com. That is where all of the music will be. Music. I don't, come on, man. I don't have to. That's what you want me to do. I just took my glass off. My eyes are blurred. Um, go to Patreon.com so you can see all the videos. Big videos like this are not going to be on YouTube that much. So if you want to catch all the videos, make sure that you go to the Patreon. Y'all know what it is. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love.